Finding the perfect golf club is a never ending journey. A journey to discover something that probably doesn't exist. After all, one man's trash is another man's treasure. But I won't stop the search no matter how long it takes or where it takes me. And this week we are back on our travels to a far and distant land. seven hour journey to play around a golf and I very much hope it's worth it. I'm up on Moray Speyside and the first bit of good news is that rain has stopped and there's almost a glimmer of sunshine. Something nice about an elevated tee position, it just seems to, it seems to swing a little bit easier. It's good to get one off. I'm not sure, first of all, I took forward. I'm not sure I would if I played the hole again. It probably only needs an iron off the tee, but anyway, we've got a good position. This could be a good start to the day. Come back. Do you know what? I like this golf course already. The wind has dropped, the sun is coming out, and I'm really pleased to be back up in a region which uh, I came up a few months ago. If you remember, I played a place called Duff House Royal, and I also played Buckpool. There's some real hidden gems up in this neck of the woods, and I've got a feeling from what I've seen that Forres is going to fit into that same sort of category. And uh, starting off with a birdie, because I reckon I'm pretty confident I can nail this. Yep, what a start to the day. Right, second hole, we've got a bit of a blind one. It's uh, always a bit of a, when you've not played a course before, always a little unnerving, so we've got to commit. Oh, that's gone high. Got away with that a bit. Yeah, we're still, that wasn't a great tee shot, the only good news is we're down the middle. I thought I should just show you this when I said it went off high. But you can see that I almost missed the golf ball. Not good. Should have stuck with the forward. holes a little bit of a warm-up and uh, that's one over that was a bogey on the last and you get to the fourth elevated tee position and uh, some rolling fairways mature tree line that's a uh, that's a tee shot isn't it I don't know the, the, the green just took a little bit round to the left hand side and hopefully we've got a bit of drone footage that shows you that now it's 380 um, yards off the yellows uh, why well, it's not much different to be honest with you but that is nice That should be position A. Don't go too far, and Oh, no. No, don't get ahead of yourself, lad. That's a great angle in, right-hand side of the fairway. Yeah, really happy with that. It's right at the flag. The yardage is right. Yeah, that could be good. I played this all well. I'm smiling. Oh, that was so close to the second birdie of the day. 
Well, I think the first thing I want to say is uh, it's nice to be back. It's been uh, only a couple of weeks that uh, you've seen or not seen a Monday night episode and uh, back on the travels and oh my God, I love this. But to come, sometimes you think it's a bit crazy traveling seven hours to come and play golf. And obviously I'm going to do a few courses in this area, but that's a point, it's such a good region. And I think it's quite an underrated region as well. And uh, there are so many courses that are off the beaten track and I'd put forests in that category. And uh, already, as you've probably seen, four holes in, you think to yourself, my God, just how good is this? Okay, hole five, 130. That looks a very small target. And uh, a pin that is just hanging on the right-hand side. I got enough of the ball because it's right at it. No, I didn't think I had. Oh, that was almost so good. <sighs> Just got a little bit off the bottom grooves. Well, this is a a bad miss on this green. Get to the top and fall. Ah, uh, needed a little bit more pace, but definitely missed the. I missed on the wrong side there. And this little pin, now this has got another two or three inches outside the hole break, you know. Yes. Happy with that one. Because that was no easy three-footer either. But how nice is this golf course? What a par three that was. Oh, that's a golf shot and... I'll tell you what, I've got off to a good start. But you know what I like about this course in particular is every area that I've been to so far, it's definitely silent, so it's just so tranquil. And we've come to kind of almost like a furthest point from the clubhouse at least so far. There is no noise whatsoever, apart from the odd bird. And uh, I think I play better in these calming conditions. Well, it's a par five. I've just had a little walk to the top of the brow. I don't think I can get there in two, so I'm just in a seven iron. Try and find a good position. Oh, I've gone too far left with it laying up. Can you believe it? Well, I think I have anyway. We'll soon find out. This could be good if it's the right club. We'll soon see. That's not a bad recovery, seeing as I try to lay up and uh, block myself out. Ah, maybe a tad aggressive with the first putt, and that's because these greens are just so good. I sort of got the pace early doors and laid off a little bit, but there's a little subtle camber that you don't often spot, um, but they're running so, so pure as well. But then to get that little horseshoe for another bogey is, uh, well, a little annoying, I suppose. But um, so far, what I can say, and hopefully, you've seen is just a how good the kind of variety of holes are that we've played so far the layout sort of weaves its way through uh, from tee to green which i really like and uh, plenty of definition from the fairways the fringes everything is just so well kept and uh, i've got to say so far enjoying every bit of it even though i'm a bit annoyed at that bogey i just said off camera and perhaps i should say it on is that um it's got very much a resemblance of kind of like somewhere like Formby, which is um, on the Southport coastline. And Formby, quite honestly, is probably 250 quid around because of where it's positioned and the company that it's within. And then you've got somewhere like Forres, and from what I can see, the most expensive green fee you're going to pay is £70, and that's peak time, peak season. Uh, but there's plenty of other offers to play this place for less than that. And it's just bewildering because you know, obviously a lot of that has to do with location. I don't know where the prestige at Formby has, someone like that, I don't know, but uh, yeah, this is, let me tell you, this is an absolute bargain at that kind of money. Ah, well that certainly makes up for the uh, bogey on the last. And the irony again, it wasn't a great tee shot, but a bunker shot 
really good. And I said about, you know, kind of the perfect golf club, golf course, whatever you want to call it. And uh, some of that can be from memories with the way you played the course. If you play somewhere particularly good, then uh, you normally, it's, uh, it's a happy memory. That's the right shape as well, that is kicking on. Anybody who doesn't rate mini drivers is, uh, well, probably don't agree with me anyway. As in on an opinion on mini drivers, that is. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Right, so this is that bit where you get involved in that comment section below, because what I want to know is where is your perfect golf club? And uh, perhaps you can recall me the reasons as to why it's your perfect golf club. Was that down to the setting? Was that down to a memory? Was that down to the people you played with? Because as I've said, there's many, many things that make uh, a golf club perfect in your mind. You know what, I could be having an absolute blinder of a round here if the, that's two putts now that have literally, or maybe three that have literally touched the hole but don't want to go in. But better news is, the sun's coming out. What I need to ask you for is um, to hit the like button. As I'm being told, that makes a huge difference to how successful a video is perceived to be in terms of that uh, horrible word, algorithm. So yeah, if you can, that's if you like it, of course. What I am liking is the fact that um, I think I'm one over, aren't I? Through eight. I'm drilling this thing today. What a difference it makes when, the, when you're getting a ball off, away off the tee and getting yourself in good positions because, uh, and then as it progresses, the confidence starts to build. Right, okay, this would be something, we did a video a few weeks back about me uh, wanting to play better. And one of the things was being maybe a tad more aggressive in this type of shot. So it's 228, uh, there's a par five, don't forget. And if I'm honest with you, I'd normally kind of, my decision would be to lay up. But um, if we're here, I suppose we should be trying to get this ball as close to the green as we can and maybe on it. Oh, such a good strike. It's just leaked a slight tad. It could be in the greenside bunker. Nah, it's a way, way short. Way short. But it's really, uh, it was a nice swing and probably a good decision. Right, so a way short was probably a little bit harsh. Um, but we've been in this awkward sort of distance and that flag doesn't seem to be a great deal on the green. So I'll try and pitch it into the sort of face, I think, is the idea. Oh, I think I've played one there. Camera's on the green and hopefully that's close, but well executed, I think, is what they say. Yeah, I'm deadly from a foot. And uh, to be honest, I think I could have had is it one or two more if the puts had rolled in. But anyway, really enjoyed that front nine. Superb, every bit of it. And like I said, all the more better when you play well. You'll have noticed with quite a bit of the drone footage that uh, just how close we are to that um, Murray Firth. And again, someone can explain to me as to why it's pronounced Murray when it's clearly spelt Moray. But anyway, um, so some great views from this hole in particular over onto the uh, Firth itself and oh my god I've just I've enjoyed so much of this front nine for a number of different reasons one playing well two the design of the course three the condition of the course then there's the kind of tranquility of this whole place it is my cup of tea there's no doubt about that And of course we need a photo of the week competition. So as ever, Tracy or Andy in the comments section below.
by I made my way to the 15th and uh, not as much uh, hole by or shot by shot on the back nine and that's for well the main reason being I'm not sure how many of you want to see every single shot through a round so let me know in the comment section below if that's something that you would like to see um, and maybe what I can do is record them all and then play it at the end of a, an episode and that way you know I'm sort of keeping everybody happy because I know everybody doesn't want to see it but I'm showing you 15 because it's a super T position I'm glancing over 383 or 371 from the yellows and uh, it's stroke index 5 but uh, once again just a real nice when I say nice I mean it's tight it looks a decent golf hole come on keep this driver going oh, and I don't know what's going on today that is drilled right down the middle and uh, yeah I'm still loving life let me know what you think of forest down below and I've got another thing you can ask uh, I've been having a think as I've been going round how good would it be if I could agree with the clubs that I visit that they provided you viewers subscribers with a discount code of some sort so you got a little bit of discount off the green fee let me know down below and uh, maybe just say yes that would be a good idea or or no it wouldn't actually you know what look at that six every time you get to a tea box it's um so impressive i don't think i've come across a bad hole yet or a mediocre hole but that is so nice what a design what a layout bit of water all down the right and then it's so narrow it's obviously a relatively short par four at 322 but uh, it's all about getting your ball on the short stuff and getting that strategy right i think there's a a possibility looking at that the way it's cut on the left hand side there's an option to go down down the left um yeah which some might choose to do so good though you know but it's not like me to reach for um a, or an aggressive play but i'm hitting the driver or mini driver in this case so well that um we're going to keep on that uh, attack let's hope that's a good decision well it's at the tower and cut but it's gone out the tower and straight but it's bouncing maybe it's gone into the longer stuff and maybe i should have took a more aggressive line because I've almost hit that too good, but I think it should be okay. Right, well, I can, I can see this is literally sat up in a piece of gorse. I know what will happen now with the camera on. This is going to move. I have all kinds of complaints. But yeah, we were not too far off being uh, a good line. But anyway, this should be fun. You know what that was nearly a shank <laughs> okay we're out we're out the aggressive play backfired on me i knew it shouldn't have that's frustrating i can't believe a short par four has been me undoing Ah, bogey. And the first one for a while, to be honest with you. Yeah, been greedy, but uh, never mind. After, um... yeah, after a couple of shots there, I think a bogey is uh, deserved. Get a bit right to kick. Stop.
up. One of those where you, you don't want to leave it there. Uh, so a tad aggressive. And again, I'm going to have to make uh, a fair old putt to save par. Back nine got a little scrappier. Um, still only dropped, I was probably, I birdied 10. Um, and then I had three bogeys, so still only a couple over. And this is, well, this will be three over on the back. Unless I can make the save. That's probably, uh, the putter has been rolling well, but um, I haven't found a huge amount that have gone in the cup. Or have I? I don't know. It's been a good day anyway, whatever. And I think that uh, this fits that remit off the beaten track. But I look at kind of websites before I come and social media and things. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I uh, didn't expect this to be as good as it is. The layout was superb. Condition was superb. And uh, everything about it just so, so enjoyable. And yes, it helps when you play a good round. Was it the perfect golf club? Well, it was today at least anyway. Right, we're off. I'm uh, on the travels straight from here. We've got another hour and a half down the road and I'll see you next week for another episode.